This is one of the biggest matches of the season for Inter Miami CF. They go up to Columbus, where it's incredibly difficult to play against them in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, the last time we done so, we ended up blowing a 2 nothing lead against them in the League's Cup. This is a different situation altogether because this game is meant to get the supporter shield. A couple of nights ago, they did just that. They have done it for the second time in Miami sports history. Believe it or not, this is the second time. Yes, first time in franchise history for into Miami. But the second time in Miami sports. Believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, the first time this happened was back in 2001, where the, the team called Miami Fusion won a Supporters Shield in 2001. And they played at the same stadium that they are in right now, Chase Stadium. Back in the day, I believe it used to be called Lockhart Stadium. So just a little bit of, of a historian fact for everybody. Um, but it's Miami. They've done it. Another trophy into the shelf. That's more than Orlando's. And Messi gets his 46th trophy in his entire career, man. I mean, it, it, this is this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable what this team is, is capable of. And then to do that against Columbus in Columbus, Ohio, is some, it is definitely even more special and more impactful than any of the games that we have played this season. I'm not kidding you about this. And we finally conquered it. This team is for real. And now, because they have Supporter Shield, they, ha they now have the home field advantage for the rest of the playoffs. So the last road game is... Actually, it's tomorrow because today is October 4th. So, vamos, Miami. Um, but how do they do it? How do they do it? Let's go over it. So it starts off with it starts off with a immediate corner kick for Columbus, and that was like it was all cleared away. In the eighth minute, there was actually a goal. There was actually a goal in the eighth minute. It was Cucho Hernandez who gets the goal to make it one 0 Columbus. However, it was offside. That he was caught offside and. Um, and he the, the goal was disallowed, thankfully. Um, there will be a corner kick for Columbus, which was conceded by Frey from that. Uh, Inter Miami got caught offside. It's um, more offside. It's been, it's been a pretty slow 20 minutes. The only action that really happened was in the 8th minute. But since then, it's been... It was tense. It was pretty tense. It was something like this. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Um... So there'll be corner kicks for it to Miami. Both of them were conceded by uh, Rudy Camacho, um, which they didn't get. Any, they, they didn't go far at all. Uh, there was a there was an injury. Um, there was an injury uh, to uh, Busquets from Mohamed uh, Farsi. He ends up getting hurt, but he would continue. He would continue playing through it. Christian Ramirez from um, now. We finally get our first shot attempt. Official first shot attempt of the game in the 34th minute. Uh, Ramirez um, tries to get one too close, but he misses to the right. Um, then, then uh, Cucho, Cucho gets blocked. He gets blocked from that range from the free kick, which nothing they didn't they didn't go very far with this one. So, um, so then there will be a yellow card issued. To Redondo for a pretty silly foul that he has committed. Uh, but then Suarez almost making a 1 0 for himself to the bottom left corner, but that was saved by Columbus. Diego Rossi, who was a Inter Miami killer back in August, calendar saves this one, and it was a tight, it was a tight window too. But then in the 45th minute, in the 45th minute, Messi was able to get one through the bottom left corner, and it was Messi. I mean, uh, the goat. I mean, of course, Columbus wanted Columbus wanted Messi. They got him. He got him. He got them with a one 0 goal to at the 45th minute. 
and there will be four more minutes of stoppage time um, after that goal. So one nil into Miami, and then foul's been foul's been foul on uh, Camacho for uh, for a silly foul, um, and then and then there will be a free kick. There'll be a free kick outside the box. Uh, they said Luis Suarez wins a free kick, but Messi was right there too. And guess who? And I mean, honestly, guess who would take this kick? If you say Lionel Messi, you got to correct. This was a thing of beauty. A, the thing of beauty for Inter Miami and Messi himself. Outside the box on the left side. And then Messi... Kicks it, and it gets by Columbus Crew goalkeeper, and he puts one into the back of the net. That was a thing of beauty. It, he did it again. I mean, oh, my gosh. Messi's done it again. And he makes it 2-0 Miami at the halftime. He get, he has second goal of the game and he and he did that against Columbus and that free kick. I think there's a third time in his Miami tenure that he did that against teams. First one against Cruz Azul, second time was against FC Dallas, and now for my knowledge, third time right here. I mean, the thing of beauty, man. And funny thing is, I was actually in Orlando when I was watching that happen. It's crazy. It was actually crazy. Messi, man, the GOAT. You, you can't stop him. You just can't stop him. So halftime ends. Uh, actually, there was five minutes to stop. It's not four, but there was more than that because of free kick and a couple of fouls. Second half starts 20 seconds in. I'm not kidding you. 20 seconds in, and Miami's defense just gets caught napping. Diego Rossi gets one in through the back of the net. Very quickly to make a 2-1 Columbus. And I'm thinking in my head, you got to be kidding me. We are not doing this again. We are not blowing a 2 nothing lead against Columbus in Columbus again. So that was a bad goal to give up. However, immediate response. This was a pretty bizarre goal. Um, I forgot if it was Camacho but he ran to his own goalkeeper. I think it was. Uh, let me let me see if I can pronounce this. Everybody, Patrick Sh uh, Schutel, uh, uh, Schultz. If I butchered, I apologize. But you get who I'm trying to say, right? Uh, but they ran into each other while trying to make a play, and it's very bad time for them because Suarez was right there. And when both team both teammates collide against each other. Suarez took advantage and he buries it to make it 3-1 into Miami. Immediate response from into Miami to get back within two points up against Columbus. They wanted a foul so badly, but the problem is it was not our player to collide with their goalkeeper. It was them, it was his own teammate to collide with their own goalkeeper. So it's 3-1 into Miami, and that was well, we'll take it. So, um, anyway, a couple minutes, a minute later, Wenger gets a yellow card for a silly foul. Corner kick for into Miami. Nothing happened there. Sw uh, Messi gets blocked from the header. A uh, couple of corners later, nothing happens. Um, Rudy Camacho with his first yellow card. He he did a he did a stupid thing, uh, fouling against into Miami. I think it was Suarez. He gets shown a yellow card. Uh, and then a minute, and then a minute later, uh, trying to make an effort to save the ball back in, in play, it ends up going to the hands of Noah Allen, which is and it happened in the box, which means it is a penalty. Great. And then, well, they would make it three two. It's Cucho Hernandez with a penalty. It goes to the left side. Um, goes to the left side of the net. Drake Calendar went the wrong way. Even my friends called it. He was gonna he was gonna kick it to the left. And it's 3-2 now. It is 3-2 into Miami. Columbus is inching closer. Then the 63rd minute. Rudy Camacho gets his second yellow of the game. Not only that, when he gets a second yellow, he gets an ejection card. Red card, you are done for the game. 
get out of here. Fans were absolutely livid with this happen. I mean, it is. He got him in the shin. What do you want me to say? He got he got our player in the shin. Renato shin. And it hurts. It hurts like crap. So that's a yellow card. And because it, and considering that was and he already has a excuse me. He already has a yellow card. That's a second yellow, which means you get sent off. So Camacho is getting suspended. Um so he's done. He is going to get sent off. They're looking at this, and they said, play on. It is confirmed a yellow card, which means he has been sent off because of the second uh, second uh, yellow. So he gets a red card. Whew. Anyway, now Columbus playing with t playing with 10 men for the rest of the game. So this should be into Miami's chance to, you know, keep the ball in the possession and try to score another goal to add insurance and make sure that we, we, we would – actually win this game we don't want to just settle for three two we want to get we want to get an assurance goal to make sure that they won't make this sudden comeback because no because we kind of did that when we were when we had nine men remember that and this is without Messi and Suarez anyway 69th minute nice uh substitutions for Inter Miami Don Ruiz comes in for Redondo uh and a few substitutions in the 70 minutes um uh, three substitutions for Columbus. Uh, uh, Russell Woe, Russell Rowe replaces Christian Ramirez. Dylan Chambos replaces Darlington. <coughs> excuse me, uh, Nagby, and it De De Juan Jones replaces Max Arf 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 Arfstan. Uh, if I butcher, I apologize. And we have our second substitution. Christoph comes in for Wingett. Uh, Farsi tries to make a tie game, but save by calendar. And then the 80th minute, a shout for a handball from Ian Fry. And unfortunately, VAR had a played impact, and it was confirmed to be a handball. They it took they took a while to look at this. Was it a clear and obvious, or or was it or was it incidental? Was it an incidental to try to make a play? VAR says none of those things. It is a clear handball, intent handball. They said, and Kucha Hernandez gets the gets the penalty kick once again to tie this game up. Kucha Hernandez goes back to the left to the left side of the net. However, the major difference between this penalty kick and the last is that this one Drake Counter went the right way and he saved that ball. One of the best saves ever, ever. We always talk about Messi, Suarez, Capana, and then, you know, eventually, Gonzalo Higuain. We always talk about the strikers. Why is nobody talking about Drake Callender? He is literally saving our asses to not let them tie the game up. And he did that in the penalty kick, bro. That is a second, from what I know, at least a second penalty kick save of the season i remember the first time that happened was all the way back in february remember that game against la galaxy you don't i do he saved the penalty kick i talked about it go back but he did that against Kucho hernandez one of their best players oh my god i mean it was crazy now that would be a corner kick before the corner kick even happened they were looking at that play to see whatever not if there was encroachment from our player, but that but they eventually said no, play on, nothing. It was all clean, so thank God for that. Corner kick for Columbus, nothing happened there. Thankfully, it was cleared away. Substitutions: Herrera comes in for Mohamed Farsi. Yannick Bright gets a yellow card, um, which is a silly thing when you're trying to get when you're trying to you know stop them from throwing the line out like that. Substitution for Inter Miami. Rojas comes in for Diego Gomez, who will be leaving after this season. Hopefully, he gets a trophy and a ring out of this before he goes gets goes to, uh, I think Europe. But anyway, ninetieth minute comes, and they said ten minutes of stoppage, ten minutes left of the stoppage. Wow. And in in the pro in the process in 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 the meantime. Columbus is on fire. 
They are looking to get the equalizing goal to make sure that we do not get the supporter shield in front of them. Cucho Hernandez, he misses close range. And it was very close. It was very, very, very close. And in between that, Columbus was trying to get the ball. And then they're trying to go down the field. But Miami's defense and counters was just good enough to not let that happen. Corner kick would happen for Columbus uh, in the 95th minute of stoppage. Nothing happened there. It was cleared away. There will be a substitution for Columbus. That's the last one. Uh, AGL Jackson comes in for Alexandru Matan. If I butcher it, I apologize. But a couple minutes later, as as Inter Miami is trying to put one into the back of the net, they just were not able to get down the field. But when they do, they turn the ball over out of bounds. 99th minute of stop as Dylan Champos almost making it 3 3. And Calendar with an amazing save. That was it for them. That wound up being their last chance. 99, uh, 100th minute of stoppage. Dava Ruiz gets blocked. And then Columbus was going to press down the field. But the referee whistled for a final, for a full time whistle. Enter Miami right then and there with their 20th win. With their 20th win of the season and 68 points. That is, it is nine points ahead of Columbus. And more importantly, it is seven points ahead of LA Galaxy, which they play 32 games. They don't have a game in hand no more. With it, what this means, considering, considering that we have 68 and they have 61 with two games left, there's no coming back, which means Inter Miami officially clinching the best team in the regular season as a supporter shield. They've done it. First time in franchise history, second time in, in sports history for Miami sports. Remember what I said earlier. The first time it happened was back in 2001 with the Miami Fusion. Messi played a major factor in this. So did Suarez and Drake Callender. They did. It, but to do that against Columbus, a really good home team, is even more special than people people realize. When we look at the stats, 52.8 possession time into Miami has, 47.2 for Columbus. Columbus with the with more shots in this game than Miami did. They had six shots on target, which means four of them were saved by Drake Counter because they got two of them in from Rossi and Cucho from the penalty. Four shots on goal for Inter Miami, and three of those three of them were made. One, two of them by Messi, one from Suarez. Six shot attempts for Inter Miami as a whole. Nine for Columbus. Eight fouls for Columbus. Eleven fouls for Inter Miami. We get three yellow cards. Columbus did have a yellow card, but that turned into a red card because uh, because Camacho gets a second yellow. He gets sent off. Corner kicks. We got five. They have four, and like I said, four saves for Drake Calendar and one save for Columbus goalkeeper. And we have we have clutch supporter shield. So vamos, vamos. The debate is over. Messi should be the MLS MVP. He really should be. Uh, we get we got our final road game of the season, and that's going to be in Toronto, Canada, tomorrow. Uh, 4 o'clock Eastern. 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, folks. So, if, if you want my personal opinion, do not have them, do not have those guys play in 90 minutes, full 90 minutes. Let them be subbed off or sub them on in the second half so that people's, so that people can at least see Messi for a, a half hour or so because I know the money is really expensive, especially when you're going to the international border and seeing the best player in the world. But man, do not, please do not have him play full 90 minutes. We need them healthy for the, for the, for the playoffs, man. Although then again, the international break's coming up. But either way, guys, yeah, that's going to do it for this one. If you have enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe for content because Miami 2G is back. 
And when he does, hit it right there with your fear tamment. You deserve. This is my TVD sign-up, folks. Adios. Vamos.